Good morning, my friends. Now then, there are supermarkets and there are supermarkets. And today, we are going to the supermarket, the ultimate supermarket, the best supermarket, the one that we know oozes quality when you talk about it. And you may think that you think, oh, it oozes quality. But as soon as I tell you the name, which is in the title, you're going to go, how much? That's expensive, but you'd be surprised. It's actually good quality stuff. And I'll tell you why. Today, we're off to Waitrose. Now there are other supermarkets. There are Morrison's, there is Tesco, there is Asda. And I've had a full English breakfast at all of those supermarkets. And they've been okay-ish. It is what it is. And it's cheap and cheerful. Sometimes not so cheerful, unfortunately. It depends who's cooking it or who is on, on the day, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, it's whoever you're going to get to cook it. You could have Waitrose today and it could be a really nice breakfast and I could go to another one. And to be quite honest, it could be garbage. But today we're going to one in Meanwood in Leeds. Now, I went to this one the other day with my girlfriend, Sarah. We went for lunch, uh, and what did I have? I think I had a fish finger sandwich or something and some chips, and um, I think Sarah had a, a rice bowl or something, and it was very nice. Did a little bit of shopping while I was there also, and it wasn't as expensive as I actually thought it was going to be. Now, it's owned by the John Lewis Group. It's not owned by shareholders. It's not owned by big stockholders in London. It's actually owned by the partners. Read up online on this one. So people who work there, I, I believe, get a part of it. And that's why it's supposed to be so good. Now, there's another supermarket that I've been to up in the Lake District called Booths that I've sort of said, it's a little bit like Waitrose, but it's, it's not quite as posh as Waitrose. Waitrose is good quality stuff. And we're going to go and find out what the full English breakfast is like. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had it. I've uh, eaten there, as I say the other day. The food was good. It was clean. It was nice. It was free parking. And it was cheaper than I thought it was. If you're new to the channel and uh, you, like the, you like the content, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and come back and watch again. And don't forget to click the little bell icon that'll notify you when I upload new videos. But wait till the end of the video, because to be quite honest, you might think this guy's a bit of a knob, so I don't want to watch it. Anyway, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so we're going to the Waitrose in Meanwood in Leeds. I've got to say, by the way, Leeds as a city is vibrant, it's fantastic. It really is a, a wonderful city to be in and to explore. However, I am going to say, Leeds City Council, you are absolutely pathetic. You are one of the worst councils. In fact, I'm going to give you the award for the the worst council in the UK because this Stanley Bypass that we're on, it's basically just been redone, resurfaced, and you're now digging it up again. Yet again, you're digging it up. You're digging up everywhere to put in bike lanes and bus lanes, bike lanes that people don't use, bus lanes that you hardly see buses in, you are ruining the city. Whoever works for Leeds City Council on, are making these decisions really are absolute cockwombles. You really are. You must have been, where were you at school? I bet you were the ones in the corner who got bullied. Absolutely a pathetic council. There we go. I've had my say. And I tell you what, people who actually live in Leeds, I bet you'll agree with me. Wonderful city, stupid council. Onwards. Oh, I tell you what, I'm working up an appetite. I am working up an appetite. See, so look, bus lane and then a bike lane, right? The bike lane and the bus lane, and then they're, they're actually wider than the actual lane for the cars. And this is the cars. This is the main road into Leeds in the morning. And I know people who travel to work on a morning have said, hang on a minute, where am I going here? It's not this one. Have said, it's a nightmare. Nobody's using the bus lane, no buses in here, no bikes, and everybody's stuck into this one lane in a traffic jam. I'm gonna ask the councillors, if any councillors are watching from Leeds City Council, where are your brains? 
Just have a look in your backside because I'm guessing that's where they are. You've not got an absolute Barney McGrew, have you? Right, I need to turn left here. I've had my say, I've had my say. <laughs> here we go, left here. So this road's actually called, uh, this is named after the council of Leeds. This is called Cockshot Lane, this is. Named after the councillors of Leeds. There we go. I like that one. Right. Anyway, come on. I need. I hope now. I'm hoping it's quality produce. I'm, I'm guessing it is going to be at Waitrose. We need a, a bent sausage. We've said that before. Grangeal sausage. Sign of quality is when that sausage is nice and fat, nice and fat and bent at the same time. Proper Grangeal sausage. <laughs> proper banger that's what we need some beans i'm getting really annoyed as of late of everything that we order is overpriced and it's plate fillers you've got your beans in a ramekin you've got your chips if you get them on a on a lunch in some kind of bowl you get your vegetables in a in a porcelain bowl as well do it where on earth did this come from when did it come along that we have to have all these different things in bowls and separate containers and we know it's to fill the plate because there's hardly any food there take it out of the bowls take it out of the containers and you're left with a well not even a, a few morsels of food are you and i'm right i'm having a moan i'm having a whinge yes all the australian viewers there are going to go is a whinging pom actually no i'm not a whinging pom i'm just somebody who doesn't like being given a bottle of vaseline and getting shafted for my money because it's coming to the point these days where there's no point in going out because it costs you so much money and you get virtually anything for it and that's where we've come to now stop with the utensils it creates more washing up we don't need it just put more food on the plate save the water there you go turn right here Now, we're in Headingley. Cricket, cricket. I say what I like and I like what I bloody well say. Eh? Taking off in Yorkshire. We're taking off from Leeds Bradford Airport and we're landing at Leeds Bradford Airport. Because if it ain't in Yorkshire, it ain't worth bloody visiting. Bit of ale and pace there. Yorkshire Airlines, who remembers that one? Our Air Dorises will always give you the warmest of welcomes. Hey, what about bloody feet? <laughs> now that's interesting. We've just gone past Sainsbury's and there's very few Sainsbury's now that actually do full English breakfast. I did one in Sheffield, I believe, but most of them now have actually uh, franchised out to Starbucks and places like that and Costa Coffee and put them in there. And years and years ago, Sainsbury's used to be a really good place for a breakfast, but everything did back, back in the day, didn't it? Who remembers breakfasts at British home stores? Used to get breakfast at British home stores. They used to be fantastic. And you'd get the dinner ladies working there. They'd put plenty of food on for you. And these days, everything has become I'd say pretentious, but it isn't pretentious. It's basically just ripping you off and shafting you to make it look like you've got more. I bet you that there is plate fillers on this breakfast today, right? And also another little trick that they do with the full English breakfast, and you know I'm right, you'll agree with me, is they put the toast on the same plate as the breakfast now. Years and years ago, they didn't. In fact, pre-pandemic, they didn't. They actually put it on a separate plate. It's another plate filler. Toast. Don't put the toast on the same plate as the breakfast. If you take that off, you take all the plate fillers, there's no left. There's no left.
Right, here we are, Waitrose. Now then, where shall I park? Reserve for Waitrose vans. I'm gonna go inside, let's have a look. I'll see you in a minute. Right, here we are, Waitrose in Meanwood, and I'm on the Travelator. Keep walking on these things, you know. It's not meant to, to, so you can take a break, you know. Keep walking. Right, let's get this breakfast. You are approaching the end of the conveyor. I'm a caution. I'm approaching the end of the conveyor. I'm burning off calories. Right, here we are, Waitrose Restaurant. <laughs> Right, okay, so the staff were very friendly. Now, I've ordered the full English breakfast. Um, they've asked whether I wanted uh, an extra water to top up and make more of the tea bags, which is good. Uh, eggs, they said, do I want fried, scrambled or poached? I've gone for poached. Uh, you've got the separate sachets of sauce there as well, and also uh, free water on tap, free tap water on tap. Um, and that came to a total of, uh, oh, toast was extra, by the way, uh, and I asked whether I could have marmalade on it. And that's come to a total of £11.95 in total. Uh, there's a copy of the receipt. Also, um, as I said before, staff really nice and he's going to bring the food out to me very shortly. Uh, he said if you have a Waitrose card as well, you do get offers occasionally and different discounts and gain points. So it might pay if you actually come to Waitrose a lot to get yourself a, uh, a card, a Waitrose card. Selection of newspapers behind me here. Um, I'm not sure what to say about that one, personally. Uh, there we go, we'll pop that in there. It might put me off my dinner, it might put me off my breakfast. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Right, okay, so the goods have arrived. Now, first off, uh, they brought me the wrong breakfast. They brought me the one with scrambled eggs on, which wasn't mine. Uh, we've got a ramekin, which is a filler there again, so we'll take that off. Um, we've got the poached eggs now as well. Also, they forgot the marmalade, which I asked for, so I went and got the marmalade. Um, sausages look, don't look bent, they look a bit crinkly, um, but we're gonna reserve judgment till we eat them. Got a proper tomato there, uh, and also some bacon here as well with no fat on it, a little bit of fat on it there as well. No, there actually is. There is a bit of fat on it actually, but it smells quite nice. And it's all the produce from the supermarket itself. So before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, let's go in for this. First things first, the sausages, which for me make the breakfast. 
and um, got a nice skin on them there. Hmm. Got a bit of a burnt taste to it, although they're not burnt, I don't think, but quite well done. Um, a little on the dry side. We'll pop some of these beans in, actually. Dispense these beans. There we go. Toast on a separate plate, which is good, but you have to pay for the toast as an extra. It doesn't come included. Cut into the poached egg. <coughs> I'm going to say that's a little bit overdone on the poached egg. Not done to perfection on that one. Same with that one. A little bit overdone. Okay, let's try the tomatoes. There's your tomatoes. Nice tasting tomato. Got the one mushroom there, which I always call a little bit pretentious. quite tasty and the bacon let's see whether it's too salty or just right I'm fussy with my bacon let's have a look at this bacon's quite nice to be fair nice bacon not sure about these sausages I mean the skin on that don't know it's just got a funny bit of a funny burnt taste to it let's get some beans on there Mmm, beans are nice. I think they need to work on their poached eggs though. Right, I think I'll eat the rest of this. Then I'll come back to you um, and we'll, uh, we'll mark it out of 10. Got the marmalade as well, which is Waitrose uh, organic marmalade. Got a bit of HP sauce on here as well, shall we? Can never get these, it says tear here. Can never get the blooming things open. Pop that in there. I don't like these things at all. Not the HP on there. Just give me a bottle on the table. Good grief, and it's plastic as well. Right, see you guys in a minute. Now apparently, don't speak with your mouth fully, the newspapers are yesterday's newspapers. They're not today's. Come on Waitrose, get with the programme. Now I am gonna say, I can't eat the eggs. Too dry and the tomatoes are very, hard not quite not quite put enough a little bit hard but I'll eat the tomatoes but the eggs no thanks I'll give that a miss Right, okay, let's get down to business. What can I say? Do you know what? This is a difficult one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fair on this one. Uh, am I going the right way here? The road works? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be fair on this one, okay. The, where is this taking me? This is taking me into, this is not right, surely. Uh, hang on. Right, okay, fine. I'm trying to get to Ikea. Um, right, let's get down to business. 
sorry we'll start again um so i'm going to be fair on this one produce i would say quality produce waitrose does have very good quality produce it's part of john lewis and you can't take that away from him however the sausage disappointing i mean it was wrinkly i mean it reminded me of myself in the cold when it gets really cold it's just not a good look is it a wrinkly sausage um, <laughs> um too much information anyway sausage not impressed by that at all uh not at all um shriveled up nobody likes a shriveled up sausage do they um and then other than that bacon enjoyed the bacon have to say um first off the staff was very friendly but they got it wrong to start with they put the poached egg on the other table and the scrambled egg on my table and i'd started taking videos of it and i touched the plate and then they just came around and swapped them around again and the couple over the way from me had my poached egg and they were obviously looking at that and i thought i don't like that somebody else has actually had my food on their table and it makes me somewhat uneasy i don't know i don't like it i think that's i think if that happens me personally when people have actually touched the plate and prodded it take it back start again um so they made an error there however i'm glad they did it because again scrambled egg in a separate container why just put it on the plate we don't need it in a separate container. You don't need scrambled egg in a separate container, do you? What's that all? When did we start putting stuff on separate plates and bits of crockery, etc.? Um, so my breakfast, beans were nice, but again, in a ramekin, not many of them particularly. Toast you had to pay extra for, that was an extra quid. I've got the receipt here, that was an extra quid. An extra 245 for the tea there as well. Um, and the poached eggs. They weren't poached, were they? I mean, what were they? <laughs> they were just a mess. They were just hard boiled. An hard boiled egg that was. So, might be great produce, but again, I don't think they were actually getting people. With respect to the people that are working there, I'm sure they're lovely people, but they're not cooks. They're not chefs. And the problem that we've got is that post pandemic, again, we can't, people can't get the stuff, etc. And that's the issue with it. So it's down to the people that are cooking it. And it's no disrespect to them because they brought in. I asked yesterday when I went in with Sarah, I says, oh, what time do, do you open in the morning for uh, for breakfast? And he, and he looked at me and he went, uh, I don't know, I've just started. And I thought, surely you'd know what time that you open, that they'd teach you that. So there we go, uh, Waitrose breakfast. What do I mark it out of 10? Crikey, it's a difficult one, this. I mean, charging extra for toast, extra for tea, and £11.95. It ain't cheap, is it? Let's go with a... I need your help on this one, you know, to be honest. It's the sausages that have disappointed me. I'm going to give it a, a 6.8. There we go. 6.8. Am I wrong? Am I right? What do you reckon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. That was it. Waitrose. Full English breakfast. Is it the ultimate supermarket breakfast? No, it's not. So there we go. Is there any ultimate supermarket breakfast really these days? I think that we've lost a little something at the moment. And I think it's staff you it's all down to the people that prepare and cook it but they were very nice and they were very friendly so you can't take that away from them either thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye